I want to make sure my connection is a mess up. Let's see. Okay, so this is one percent power saving mode on. All right, I'm back. All right, so for those who just joined me, um, I'm doing this live obviously because I'm in the house and. I thought about something because something happened to me recently, as as is happening to all of us. Every single one of us are dealing with this coronavirus outbreak, and um, it's for me, it's literally crippled my industry. Um, for those who don't know me, and I don't know why you wouldn't know me on my own, on my page, but for those who don't know me, I'm Mark Keysmore. I'm an actor. I've been acting for about 15 years now. Um, I've it's done well by me. Um, my career. What's up, Bryce? My career has um had its ups and downs, but I'm still here and I'm still grateful and thankful to an industry that has supported me since my inception in the industry. Um, but with that being said, I've always prided myself in having other forms of income. Um, not that I didn't believe in myself, but, but I understood that you had to have ways to make money so that if your body wasn't able to make the money, um, you'll still be able to produce for your family. Because one thing that does not stop, no matter what catastrophe or outbreak, that's bills. Um, it wasn't like you went to the grocery store and they were gonna give you some food for free. It wasn't like when you, uh, it wasn't like if you if you don't pay your bill for the next six months, they're gonna just leave your power on. It's not gonna work like that, you guys. Even if your industry, a particular job is shut down, they're going to still expect you to do your part. And that's just, keep the train going. So with that being said, I had to think like, yo, Keith, what's going to happen if the industry doesn't come back for a while? What if the whole pilot season that you've been paying for stuff for and preparing for does not come? What are you going to do? Because your son's going to call for money. Your kids, your daughters are going to call for money. Um, your mom may need something. Your sister may need something. Emergencies will still happen in life. Things will still occur. Uh, not to mention, you're going to be hungry. Not to mention, you're going to need to put food in your stomach. And you guys watching me on YouTube, it's up to you guys. I'm also live on Facebook and Instagram. So thank you all for coming. Um, but the point of this is, I, I, I faced a financial crisis within my small microcosm. And that crisis was knowing that I didn't have any money, at least enough to live off of for the next three months. Um, so I immediately called some friends of mine. Thank you, Bryce. And um, I said, bro, you got a couple grand I can borrow until this thing kind of smooths over. And the response I got would have shooken someone who doesn't think like a like an entrepreneur. And I was told, no, but I'll give you a trade account. It's my trade account. Um, and you can keep the profits. Now, mind you, I've been trading my whole life, but never have I traded with such intensity, purpose. Um, and sense of urgency that I really, really, really had to make some money because I ain't had no bread. And I could have been like, man, this dude just played me. He told me he going to let me use his trade account, but he he, he ain't going to just break bread with me. Well, for one, he had no means of getting to me. He was out of town, doesn't really know much about, you know, Snatch, uh, excuse me, uh, Zelle and all those payment forms. So he opened up his trade account to me. And from midnight on to, I would say, seven o'clock in the morning. That's all I did. I was Googling trades. I was, I, was, I was active. I was executing. I didn't sit around and say to myself, man, I don't know this. I'm not about to sit and learn this. No, no, no. I got busy. I got freaking busy and I produced. And I taught myself something by doing that, that when that sense of urgency kicks in and when your mindset and your attention is on success, for real, there's nothing that can stop you. Not a coronavirus, not anything, but you got to know and you have to have the tact and, and the, the knowledge to know where to go when it's time to, you know, change how you're getting your money. If your job shuts down, you can't stop getting money. You've got to figure out a way to still provide. So with that being said, I started opening my mind up to other. How was everybody else getting money? How, how are the successful corporate people making money? In a time like this, and I saw the markets, I saw that as an opportunity um, to make money. And what I noticed is that whether the markets are going up or down, you can buy or sell, which means you can you can make money off the market going up or you can make money off the market going down. But I noticed that there was a pair 
in every market that was hot. And I saw the S&P 500 as a hot zone for, for profit. So I stayed with it. I watched it. And then I placed trades. And those trades just happened to be successful. And I was able to literally go buy some groceries. With those trades. Literally. So you can't tell me personally that this shit doesn't work. And excuse my language. I don't mean to offend anyone who may be listening and is not comfortable with that type of language. I'll try to keep it to a minimum. But you can't tell me that trading doesn't work and that you can't make money in trading. But what I do know that you can lose, just like in any other thing you do when involving money. But my intention, my intention, you guys, and my sense of urgency is what made me focus in so extremely that I was able to produce. And uh, it felt good, man. You ever, you ever had the world against you? You ever felt like you don't know how you're going to produce? Like you don't know how you're going to pay the bills or feed your family in a particular moment? And then you do? And you, it feels good, don't it? I should press five in the chat, man. Have you ever been in a situation where, what the freak is going on? Excuse me, guys. Press five in the chat. If you've ever been in a situation where you, um, you know, your back was against the wall, you had to make money right away, and you produced. Uh, my Facebook followers, I'm sorry about that. We're off. So let me go ahead and try to sign on here. Hopefully this works. If I could get it, there we go. They tried to stop us, man. I don't know why they're hating on me so bad here. So, but if you've ever been in a situation where, man, you had to make it work last minute, this is for you. This conversation is for you. Um, I'm going to try to get my other I'll, I'll go on live all day if I have to because I got some things to do. I'm not going to. People slip by the wayside because most of the people that I talk to are probably just sitting at the crib watching Netflix. So. I get it, but we got to do better. I mean, it's that simple. We got to do better. Um, at times like this, in a crisis like this, you have to be able to position yourself to make money, regardless of whether or not your physical body has to be in that space. You have to. If you're not doing that, not only are you a dinosaur but you're also setting yourself up for failure that can affect you and your family. And um, that's a no-no. That's a no-no, guys. So I had to get off my ass, so to speak, and um, put myself in a position to um, create that residual income, create that passive income right away. Now, things take time. Again, I already studied trading for quite some time. So I knew how the markets worked. I just didn't take it serious. There was no sense of Again, urgency for me, um, for the simple fact that can I can I go here while I'm on live? I think so. Am I still live? Okay, good. So I'm still live. We're having some serious malfunctions at Facebook. It's like the third time I've been kicked off Facebook trying to do this live video, and it's cool. It's cool. I'm signing in live now with Facebook as well. They make you do like a whole thing. Facebook is kind of ridiculous. Okay, let's see here. Go live. Three, two, one, and we're back on Facebook. Sorry about that, everybody on Facebook. Um, I really apologize that it keeps shutting us down. I hope I'm still live on YouTube. I think I am. Uh, I'm just going to keep it rolling because I can't wait for this thing to catch up. So with that being said, I'm going to keep this thing rolling, keep the conversation going. Um, I started looking for opportunities. I started looking for opportunities. Now. When you look for something, you find it, you guys. So a lot of times when situations happen like this, the first thing that comes to our mind is self-doubt. I know personally I've been in that space. Um, but it, it's not usually until there's a sense of what? A sense of urgency. A sense of I got to make this happen. My back's against the wall. Where people finally start to dig deep inside themselves and say, "What are? how can I get creative to come up with some solutions? Um, but what I'm learning is staying in that hot space when there's no emergency is the key. Like right now, you know, we dealt with a massive emergency. It was an emergency. It was people running and grabbing stuff out the stores. But if you stay ready, you ain't got to what? If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Right? That's what they say. They say you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. So with that being said, I believe and I know for a fact there are business models set up for people who now 
are experiencing what it's like to not have a job. So it's forcing people to step into other sectors and ways to make money and generate revenue without their physical bodies being actually present. So with that being said, I started looking for those opportunities. And I found them. I found several opportunities where you can get in with little to no startup costs and create a business opportunity for yourself from your home, from your computer, from your phone. It's real. It's a lot of people out here making money. And there's no reason why everybody is not utilizing, you know, the Internet. And then social media to our advantages and, and talking to each other, empowering each other. Because uh, there are a lot of resources out here. There are a lot of companies set up to help entrepreneurs. You know how many automation services there are now so that when you run, you when you begin to open up your Amazon store, it runs smoothly. You know how many people do graphics? How many freelancers are in the world there to support your, your new business, your new startup? Literally, I've started businesses in 30 minutes. I mean, fully ready to roll out <laughs> businesses where I can generate revenue right away in 30 minutes, 30 minutes. So you can't tell me that it's not possible. It's just there's no urgency for you. And the lack of urgency, um, it, it produces nothing. But again, it's also not being prepared for a moment like this that gets a lot of us in a space where we have to do something. And I don't ever, 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 ever want to experience what it feels like to be in a situation where I could have prepared for something and I didn't. And now I'm stuck because I was not prepared. So um, I want to share these, these resources with you guys on a daily basis. Um, I like to be able to build a network of people that empower each other so that we are always in a space where we're, we're making money together. You know what I mean? Um, if you know a graphic designer, you should be sharing it with your friends that that have, you know, work from home businesses that need artwork done. We have to help each other out. We've got to, you know, stay in the loop of, of what's going on. Besides all the mess, how can we help each other make? Because if you're relying on a nine to five job or a corporate job to make sure that you're good, all they have to do is shut the doors. And what are you going to do? You have to find a way to make money, make money. And um, I've been blessed enough to be um, invited into opportunities that have done just that for me. And I'd like to do that with you guys. So I know I'm having some connection issues. So I'm going to go ahead and put the link here. Um, let's see. Put the link here. Oh, shit. Stay on this page. I don't know what just happened again. Okay, I'm still live. Am I still live? I think I'm still live. Uh -huh. I, don't, I don't know what just happened. I was live, I think. It messed up again. It's all good. I'm going to put the link at the bottom, though. My phone is on some bullshit. All you got to do is put your, your name and your email on there, and um, I'm going to hit you. I'm definitely... Make sure I reach out. Uh, excuse me, guys. Tell everybody follow me on YouTube. I'm trying to connect everything still on Facebook. <laughs> this is why I need a team, man. Definitely need a team of people because doing this by yourself sometimes is a little difficult. We're going to keep the ball going. I don't know why my phone is acting like it don't want to love me. Okay? I got 10 different cords hooked up. So, yeah, I'm going to drop the link right here so you guys can follow this link right here. Empoweryou.com. No, it's join. Excuse me. It's join. Join empoweryou.com. Um, I created this platform particularly to empower people who are just now stepping into the entrepreneurial world. It can be very scary, for one. Um, it's really hard to jump into something without proper support. Um, I had to do it, but does not mean that you have to um, at all. So I want to provide support for people who are realizing and just now realizing that, hey, I can't rely on my 401k plan. Or I can't rely on my pension or my job to, you know, keep my family secure and, and my finances secure. I need to diversify. 
I need to, you know, break out into other sectors of making money. Now, it's amazing that I spent 15 years and I'm still doing it, just trying to be the best actor I could be, you know, slowly taking the steps one foot in front of the other, just to be the best actor that I could be, you know, but because of where I come from, I had the know-how to say, even though I'm an actor, I have to be a hustler. You know what I mean? Like, you can't just be something and not be a hustler. Whatever it is that you are, you have to be a hustler at it. Because there's going to be times where that doesn't pay your bills, just realistically. And, and you can't drown. So you got to swim, man. You got to swim. And there's going to be waves, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. But a, a, a boat that has a great foundation rides on top of the wave. You know what I'm saying? So I started to focus on I keys. Set up these different businesses. It started to look crazy to other people. People was like, my mother even told me. She said, Keith, you're spreading yourself too thin. You got stuff over here. You got stuff over there. And what I told my mother then, which still rings true today, I said, Mom, I'm setting up these different income streams. They may not all benefit me right now. But if I give each of them a little bit of attention every day, if I keep stabbing at it piece by piece and mastering it piece by piece, eventually, they'll be able to stand on their own. So if this one, if this house collapses for whatever reason, boom, I still got this over here. If, if this industry um, is not productive or, or not generating any revenue for me, boom, I can go over here. Like for years, I've been setting up this model. Um, we got Isaac and Moore, which is a high fashion brand line. that's just now taken off. You know what I mean? So I talk to Isaac all the time. I'm like, what new designs? Let's do a spring issue. Let's do this. Yo, let's connect with this rapper over here. And Isaac is in the streets moving. He's doing it. He's making the moves. That's the revenue. You follow? And then we set up um, Mr. Credit Smart, which I've had for a few years now. I want to say about seven, eight years. Um, and people who, who I do their credit, um, most of my customers were Mr. Credit Smart. have been my customers for years. Um, and they refer people. I, I don't do much marketing hands-on because I don't have a team that will be able to handle um, that level of input. <laughs> so I keep it to just referrals and just for people that I'm used to doing business with uh, when it comes to that business. Again, that's a revenue stream. Acting. Acting was a choice of mine um, because I knew it, it presented an opportunity for me to generate residual revenue. Um, so with the acting, she said, can't wait to get my black and gold bag. Oh, okay. So you still want it. All right. I'm going to check your message. When uh when I get off this live, shout out to Kendra, man. Um, she loves the bag. She hit me up. She was like, "Yo, I gotta get me one of those Isaac and more bags." I said, "Absolutely." And again, I apologize for the um, mishap when it came to the all black bag. That's on me. <laughs> but um, yo, did you see the video? And uh, of uh, Stephen Curry getting ready to call for. He's like, mm. like y'all not about to quarantine me." But anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, look, she said Corona. <laughs> like, um, I just believe truly in setting up these different revenue streams and working at each of them bit by bit. Now, other people to tell you, nope, don't do it that way. Focus on one thing at a time. All right, but what happens when that one industry shuts down? What do you do when you're 100 percent good at one industry, but it shuts down? You're done. You're hit. So you have to make sure that you diversify your skills. Um, you know, in, in the industries that you're knowledgeable at, you have to, you have to. So I've created this, this platform called Empower You. And basically Empower You is set up. Uh, I got to get rid of this lame. She's so lame. Um, Empower You is set up so that people can network and come together and provide opportunities, resources, um, for people who are just now getting into this work from home life, who are just now understanding that they need to have residual income, who are just now in the space of saying, okay, I can't be stuck if my job says don't come to work. I can't be at a loss of income if my job says don't come to work. Um, so with that being said, yeah, that's what Empower You is all about. I'm going to drop the link again. And I'm going to keep talking about this. I don't care if one person comes in because that one person will tell another person that one person. The same way the corona is spreading around here, like y'all keep saying, the same way good information can spread. One person comes in because that one person will tell another person that one person. The same way the corona is spreading around here, like y'all keep saying, the same way good information can spread and all the different revenue streams. I'm consistently 
getting my knowledge base up so that when the opportunity presents itself, I can perform and launch, not just not just do it, not just, you know, show up, but launch. You know what I mean? So I've been studying the markets. I've been watching, you know, but I'm on live, not only on here, but I'm on Facebook, and Instagram, too. So I'm not worried about these numbers. Once again, um, that's really not my concern. It's a video so people can watch it later. Again, you, y'all got to start getting in the mindset. Of, stop looking at what you can get right now and start getting in the mindset of if I do it once, it can become residual. So you think I care whether or not it's one person in here right now? Because something could happen where a thousand people watch this same video and get just as inspired and just as motivated. And it, it, it puts them in the space where they're like, you know what? I want to be a part of something like that. So I'm not worried if one or two people are in the room right now. That's the lames concerned about numbers. My job is to give you something so, so that hopefully, whether it's now or later, you use the information I'm giving you. You know, I get that a lot too. I get a lot of lames that be like, oh, there's nobody in your room. So what? When I was, you know, when I was out there on the road performing, I didn't care if there was two people in the audience. I gave a show because that's my job. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, they'll catch up to me. I don't have to focus on that part, but I got some game for you and I'm going to give it to you. And the game is simple. When you're in a situation where whatever it is you do to make money has been halted, you need to have already prepared yourself to step into other sectors of making money. And um, that's what I'm trying to do with Empower You. The number one thing that I've been focusing on is the money markets. Um, and what I, what I mean by money markets is in particular is the Forex trade market. Um, it has literally, when I needed it, been my go-to and I made money. And I wouldn't have made money if I didn't already have the knowledge, obviously, to hop right in and generate revenue, but I did. Because years ago, years ago, before all the hype, I signed up with a company called iMarket Live under a brother named Christopher Terry. This was years ago. And um, I, again, I didn't build the network marketing aspect of the business, but I did get the knowledge. I did use the harmonic scanners. I did all these things so that when the time came and I was ready again to launch, nothing would be in the way. And, um, and, and now is that time. We are in a world where working from home is right now one of the most Google things in the Google search engine behind coronavirus. People are looking for ways to make money that don't have to deal with them being outside of their homes. Um, and um, I know how to do that because all my life, due to a lot of other reasons, you know, just not having a car, not, you know, not really having clothes, just want to keep it a buck with you, like not feeling confident enough to walk into a building per se and um, every single day and then perform in front of people, I have to find ways to make money online. Uh, I knew that this industry would thrive at one day, and now is the time. So I'd like to invite you guys all into an opportunity. Um, and step one of that opportunity is, I'm going to put a link at the bottom. It's called joinempoweryou.com. Joinempoweryou.com. And it's simple. It's not like you got to read a bunch of information. All you do is put your name and your email. I hit you back. Schedule an appointment. And I tell you this opportunity that I jumped into, what it's doing for me, what it could do for you, and what it will take to be successful in the business. And that's literally how someone explained it to me. They're successful in the business. So I want to be successful. So I'm just going to, you know, basically just follow the blueprint that was laid for me. The only difference is I'm doing it so it'll be unique to the way I do things. And, and that's hustle. You know what I'm saying? I'm a Leo, first of all, so we can be dormant in what appears to be dormant. But really, we're just getting ready to, for the hunt, baby. And uh, it's hunting season. So I want to encourage everybody to go to the link, joinempoweryou.com. Get ready to hunt. Peace. I got to shut down two at a time. So let me do that and that. Boom.